everyone, it's Nina. I'm so happy you're joining me today for a new tutorial. And not only that, but a look at the brand new Stamptember exclusive with Newton's Nook Designs. This is the Pocket Full of Happy stamp set and I adore it. It is so cute. Critters are so up my alley, especially cats. And this set features not only a cat, but two dogs. I'm going to be using this set today to create a slimline card that features all three of these adorable little pups and kittens. And this card is going to be a pocket full of smiles. So let's start by taking the stamp set. We're gonna pick out all the images from the stamp set and we're gonna stamp them onto Nina White cardstock with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I chose Intense Black Ink because I'm going to Copic color these images and this ink is perfect for that. It's Copic safe as well as watercolor friendly. So I'm gonna stamp these down and work on coloring. If you're interested in the exact colors I used, I do have them linked in the video description below. You'll notice that I'm keeping a neutral color scheme for each of the animals. I'm doing grays for the cat, I'm doing a grayish brown for one of the dogs, and then I'll actually do a golden retriever, a very light brown for the third dog. And that's because I'm going to add a lot of color with this card. I'm going to color all of the pockets that each of the critters are sitting in, in a denim color. I wanted these to look like jean pockets. So I pulled out some B30 markers and I'm going to use those to create the shading for the denim. And I colored each pocket the exact same way. Around the pockets, I plan on having a lot of color and some fun hearts. So I didn't want the critters to compete with all the other color that's going to be on my card. So as I'm gonna finish up the coloring here, I will cut the images out and I'm going to now work on stamping the sentiments. The sentiments are all from this pocket full of happy stamp set. And I'm going to stamp two of them onto black cardstock. And then the third and final part of the sentiment will be stamped on guava cardstock. The guava cardstock is going to complement one of the guava colored hearts that I'm going to have on my finished card. Each of the sentiments I embossed with white embossing powder and I'll heat set each of those before cutting them out. I did end up fussy cutting the sentiments out so that they have a little bit more of a softer line, but if you didn't wanna to go to the trouble of cutting them out like that, you could just simply cut them into little strips. Here I'm pulling out the Botanical Hearts die set, which is actually a coordinating die with one of Simon's large six by eight sets called Botanical Heart. But the heart shapes in this set are perfect for this card. Feel free to pull out any heart shaped dies that you have in your stash. What we're doing is we're cutting out a bunch of different hearts. The three main hearts that are on my card, I cut out three times from colored card stocks, guava, apricot, and green apple. Those I stacked up then so that the hearts were three layers thick, gives them a little bit more of a sturdier embellishment feel. And then I attached each of the critters to one of the hearts. So these are our three main elements. These are getting aligned onto our slimline panel, which is slightly smaller than a standard slimline card. After I've attached these hearts, I'll glue on my sentiments. I glued these down with just some Simon Says Stamp Craft Taggy glue. It's just a liquid glue, so any liquid glue you have in your stash, that's what I'm going to use to hold them down. The other hearts I cut from a variety of colored cardstocks, all of which I have linked in the video description. These are cut out from that same botanical heart set, and I'm nestling these around the larger hearts and our three main elements here. This is going to just add a little bit more color and add to that fun, loving feel. Finally, to accent those colors, I pulled out the holographic rainbow sequin mix from Simon Says Stamp, and I'm using glossy accents to glue these down onto my card. I picked up colors that coordinated nicely with the ones that I have in my card, and as I nestle these around, you'll see that these really complement the finished design. Finally, the last finishing touch was to add a little glossy accents to the noses of each of my little critters. You can't have a little furry friend without a glossy wet nose. And glossy accents is that perfect finishing touch. This is my finished card using the Pocket Full of Happy stamp set from Newton's Nook Designs, exclusively designed for Stamptember 2020. Don't forget that this set, along with all the other Stamptember exclusives, are only available while supplies last. So if you like this set, you're definitely gonna wanna grab it while you can. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope you were inspired by my card. And I thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me. 
feel free to subscribe to our channel and also watch some of the other videos that I have on screen for you. I'll be back soon with more to share, but until next time, have a very wonderful day. Bye!